वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ बिजनेस स्टडीज और टूडेज टॉप इज अगेन हेनरी फॉइल्स प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट सजेस्टेड बाय हेनरी फॉइल इन माय लास्ट लेक्चर I have explained first seven principles suggested by Henry Fayol among the fourteen principles, and today we will discuss the remaining seven principles of management given by Fayol. In our previous class, we have studied. division of work the first principle then discipline then authority and responsibility unity of command fourth fifth one unity of direction sixth subordination of individual interest to overall interest or general interest and seventh remuneration of employees today we will discuss another principle that is centralization and decentralization centralization and decentralization is the eighth principle suggested by file centralization means concentration of authority for decision making at top level management or overall attention of the authority towards the top level management for decision making and subordinates role have no importance here authority is everything authority gives full attention towards the decision making at top level management and the subordination or the subordinates have no importance and or role decentralization means to have authority for decision making to the lower level management that is subordinates rule possesses importance two things are here number 1 centralization authority concentration is towards top level management whereas in decentralization the attention is towards lower level management here decision making power is the most important job and here the responsibility possesses the value here subordinates role have importance in the lower level management that is in decentralization whereas here in centralization subordination has no importance subordinates that is the superiors at the lower level management who are the subordinates of the managers of or the superiors at top level management we can say the top level managers are the superiors of lower level managers and the lower level managers are the subordinates of top level managers i will repeat again you can have the a reply or answer of this point centralization of and decentralization as centralization is the concentration of authority for decision making at top level management where subordinates have no role or importance 
Decentralization means to have authority for decision making, but subordinates have importance at the lower level management. Now, the ninth principle scalar chain. Scalar chain. Scalar chain means the chain of superiors ranging from the top to the lowest ranks. Each manager is superior to the manager below him, but he is also subordinate to his own superior. Here are three levels of management. Top level, middle level and lower level. Middle level manager is the subordinate of top level manager, whereas lower level manager is the subordinate of middle level. That means middle level manager is the superior of lower level. It is clear this is the scalar chain. This is the scalar chain that middle level manager is the subordinate of higher or top level and superior of the level, lowest level. It's clear. Now, 10th order. Another principle is order. Order means a systematic arrangement or, and placement of people in the organization. That means we engage people, we arrange workers, employees for the improvement of this uh, organization for the smooth functioning of the organization. There should be specific place for each material and specific place of work for each employee. That means we have to get the quality material and utilize it properly. There should be specific place for this material for the products, accommodation should be there, size of the organization should be proper and the recruitment should be genuine, right people should be recruited at right places. Number 11, equity. Equity refers to the fair treatment to all workers in an organization. Fair treatment. Fair treatment to all workers. What does this fair treatment mean? Fair treatment means it involves kindness and justice on part of superiors while dealing with their subordinates. The superiors, the bosses must possess very, very good behavior with their subordinates. Their attitude must be proper and suitable, reasonable while dealing with their subordinates. They should encourage the workers, employees working in the organization under them. Next, stability of tenure of personnel. Personnel here means the employee. Stability. The employees should, should feel themselves stable in the organization. Organizations should make efforts to achieve stability of tenure of their personnel or employees. In every organization, the employees should feel themselves satisfactory and peaceful in every aspect such as from the remuneration point of view that is their salary, wages, etc. and other benefits, encouragement of on, with honor and dignity. This could be achieved by providing attractive and suitable salary and honor to the employees. When the management 
of the organization would provide handsome salary with good honor and dignity to the employees obviously they will work with zeal and zest with the interest and the organization would improve day by day stability of employees promote teamwork loyalty and economy jab employees ko encourage kiya jayega unko izzat di jayegi unki salary achhi ho unke other benefits diye jayenge har lihaz se unka khayal rakha jayega unko encourage kiya jayega to workers kya karenge employees kya karenge wo team work dikhayenge ittefaqan unity dikhayenge kaam karenge ek saath milkar लॉयलिटी दिखाएंगे वो सब सबमिश्यू रहेंगे सबॉर्डिनेशन बेस्ट सबॉर्डिनेशन देंगे अपने बॉसेस को और इकोनॉमी और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलप हो जाएगी प्रॉफिटेबल होगी थर्टीन प्रिंसिपल दैट इज इनिशिएटिव एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड एनकरेज डिजायर एंड इनिशिएटिव अमंग इट्स मैनेजर्स एंड एम्प्लॉय डिजायर एंड इनिशिएटिव एमंग द मैनेजर्स एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में एम्प्लॉज को दिस इज ऑल दिस ऑल रिवॉल्व अराउंड एम्प्लॉज एम्प्लॉज पॉलिसी इज थी दे शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड फ्रीडम और चांस टू परफॉर्म द बेस्ट द एम्प्लॉज शुड बी एनकरेज एंड गिवन चांस टू प्रूव दियर वर्थ इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन Fourteenth principle: Esprit de corps. Esprit de corps means team spirit or teamwork. This is the fourteenth and the last principle of this uh, management suggested by Henry Foyle. This principle develops a sense of working together. That means. according to this principle employees should work jointly provided the management shows the very good behavior and provides the handsome salary honor and dignity to the employees according to this principle there should be mutual understanding and trust among the employees the organization should have trust on its employees and the employees should believe on the top management managers should avoid use of penalties and maintain unity for the strength of the organization every in every principle we came to the conclusion that the behavior of the manager behavior of the boss or the superior should be respectable with the employees so that they can show their worth they can prove their worth and um, these bosses should maintain unity among the workers so that the organization may be strengthened dear students i think it's an for today we have com completed the topic this was the second lecture on the principles of management suggested by henry foy this is the study material for you you can have the screenshot of this question i will be back soon with the next topic take care have a nice day